Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue looking at the um, February, March 2016 Paper 31 exam. And uh, in the last video, we did um, look at step number one where we created the table and uh, specified the dimensions that we were needed for this table. Uh, in this video, uh, we're going to continue with step number two and uh, we are going to create um, or re rather we're going to place some images uh, in this table and also change some other uh, properties um, as as we go along so let's get straight into what we're supposed to do so step number two place in cell a the image m16 logo.jpg so go to um, cell a and insert and um, you need to browse to where your files are located on uh, mine are located on the desktop and um, so just go inside there 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 and pick up the m16 logo file okay so just say insert Step number um, three, enter in cell B, the text we design, create, build, finish, um, sell, or rent. So I'm just going to copy this um, just to avoid um, some time, spending some time in typing. So I'm going to copy that. Um, but you guys, you're supposed to type this. And um, one more thing that I, I, I should mention here is that um, when you are going to do your work and you see that um, the text that has been given to you is in bold. That means that Cambridge expects you to enter the text as it is. So, in other words, uh, anything that is spelled incorrectly on this uh, text is uh, is going to be marked wrong. Okay. So, even if you missed a G, like we designed, and then you, you missed a G here, that means this whole sentence is wrong. Okay. So, you might just get a single mark maybe for changing the style to H1, but the sentence above will be marked as wrong. Okay, so it's very important that you type the text as it is, especially if it is shown in bold, which means everything should be typed as it is. So let's go back and do just that. So um, I'm going to paste uh, the text there, and then um, the question says we should set this text as style H1. So let's go ahead and set this text as style H1. Double click on it and um, set it as H1. Next. Um, Next, uh, where are we? Okay, here. Step number four, using the most appropriate image from the images that have been given, image one to image um, um, M16, uh, image eight, place in cell, and then in cell C, we place the image of a plot of land for sale. So let's go here and look out. So this is cell C, and um, we are going to place an image of land for sale. So just click there zoom in the images so that you, you are able to see and automatically you can see that this is for sale and this is some piece of land it has been undeveloped <laughs> yeah so we need to sell it so that somebody can make something out of it and uh, just insert okay that's fine and uh, in cell d image of a builder making a wall so just um, insert here zoom in again just to see which image is in question is there a wall here no um, yeah, there's the guy making something there. I uh, insert that and um, in cell G, the image of a beachfront cafe. Okay, so um, uh, just take it to there and insert. Um, zoom in and let's find out something. Uh, front cafe, beach, beach, beach. Something to do with the beach. Okay, there you go here. There you go. So insert this one. Okay, there you go. This is the beach, even though we don't see the shore this side. This is the shore. <laughs> we don't see the waters. So the cameraman should have turned, uh, is it 180 degrees? <laughs> so that we see what where the waters are. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and uh, do H. H, the image of a Portuguese uh, style house. Okay, um, so you guys uh, from Portugal, um, this should be easy. I don't know what a Portuguese style house is, so let's just find out among the images that are here. Okay, so this house, nope, is this a house? Let's zoom in further. <laughs> it doesn't look like a house, like there's um, some uh, banner outside here. It doesn't it look like, it looks like a school, a community school of some kind. Okay, yeah, this looks like a Portuguese house, okay, the ones we see in movies. Um, okay, so there you go. So, yeah so we done with step four we've inserted all the images okay we go to um let's go to 
step number five make sure that appropriate text is displayed if an image is not available now guys this is very important actually when you design web pages because um um, some browsers or some people they disable image facility um, on their browser so that they save on data or some kind and um, or some people they just have slow internet that um, um, loading image is going to be a problem and so sometimes it becomes very useful to put some alternative text so that when the image doesn't load if somebody hovers the mouse uh, over um, that uh, that that picture uh, it is actually going to show um, um, the alternative text of the image that was supposed to be displayed there so somebody would get a descriptive um, um, understanding of the image that was supposed to be there um, even if the image doesn't get to show so the other th problem here guys is that uh, most people they just get to uh, place the alternative image for these four images forgetting the logo image now this is very important guys that uh, company expects you also to place an alternative text for uh, 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 every image on the web page okay whether it's logo or it's any other image but as long as it's an image then you need to replace um, um to put um, an alternative text uh when that image doesn't load we should have a text that should be displayed so let's go ahead and put some alternative text so go to picture properties now whether you're using dreamweaver you're using expression or what uh, most of the properties that you change over the picture you go to picture properties okay so i've had the number of you guys telling me no why can't you create this in um um in Dreamweaver, why can't you create this in uh, expression and so on and so forth? But guys, the concept is the same. Okay, so if I'm changing the picture properties, then even in Dreamweaver, I would need to change the picture properties, even in uh, in front page or even in web uh, web expression. I'll need to change the um, the 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 pictures um, or the picture property uh, in order to affect anything about the picture. Whether you're using Composer, the guys, the same thing applies. Okay, so just find your way how to maneuver around the um, the pictures and then you'll see that um, the same thing you can do so this is image um, of um, let's say the company logo okay image of the company logo that's the alternative text so it says alternative representation and here I'm just going to put an image of the ten, uh, company logo just say okay and then this is image uh, go to picture property general and text here I'll say image of now the the you can put or you can get the exact um, uh, text that is here this is image of a plot of land for sale so here you can say image of a plot of land for sale okay and then the next one is uh, picture property the general then here let's find out this is image of a builder making a war okay image of um, um, a builder making a war okay and the next one is supposed to be image of a beachfront cafe picture property and image of a beach um, front cafe and the last one is supposed to be image of a Portuguese style house. So just say picture property, general, and image of a image of a Portuguese um, front no style house <laughs> style house. Okay. So there we go. So we have at least some alternative texts in order to when this loads in the browser and doesn't get to display the images, then we'll have some text uh, that is going to be loaded in state. Okay. So step number six um, in cell E, enter the text prime location building plots for sale. So I'm just going to uh, copy this uh, and paste it um, um, there. Okay. So just copy this and paste it here uh, prime location building uh, building plots for sale um, then the next one is local construction uh, is it local construction uh, workers okay so copy this one as well mm, where are we here so this is the guy doing the construction um, then in cell I, 
um, enter the text uh, Rosim Beach Cafe um, for sale okay so get this text as well mm -hmm. so just paste that I remember moving some space because I'm pasting I don't want to create some space at the end there and the last one is supposed to be Portuguese colonial style house for sale so copy that as well why do I keep on coming to this page okay paste it here okay so the next thing that we're supposed to do is to set this as style h2 so set it as style h2 so just get this and hold your control key on your keyboard and just drag across so that you select all four cells and set them to style um, you're supposed to set them to style h2 okay next um, in say okay enter the text um, web design house design or web design by hot house design page list edited by and then followed by your name center number and card number and set this as style h3 so just copy this um, copy and um, right here just paste it then put your details here okay put your details chikasa evans zm556 Zero zero one, okay. And set this as tau h three. Okay. Next step: center align the table in the browser and save the web page. Okay. So we center align the table. So go to the table properties. Now, anything to do with the table modification and stuff like that, if we are not modifying it in the style sheet, then we are going to modify it in the table properties. So whether you're using Dreamweaver, like I said, it doesn't matter. The concept is the same. So center align, alignment center, and just apply. And you see that the table has been centered. Um, next, we are going to save the web page. So just click on save. And uh, step nine, make the text hot house design a hyperlink to send an email message to this email address. So I'm just going to copy the email address. Um, copy the email address. And the subject is make me a website. So we were told to select this text, hot house design and create a hyperlink out of it so right just right click and select hyperlink and select email address so just paste um, there the email address and then um, it says make me a website okay i think that was the subject make me a website okay and just say okay so we have created a hyperlink when we when we click here, the default email facility or that, that's set on the computer is going to be used um, to load up um, the emails. Um, uh, let's see, where are we? Okay, so step number 10, attach the style sheet m16.css to the web page and save the web page. Okay, so let's go ahead and attach the style sheet. So go to format and style sheet links and add and then browse. Um, to where the style sheet is supposed to be saved. You know where your files are saved. Uh, mine are on the desktop rather. So I just need to go here and there, there, and that's my style sheet and say okay. And then say okay. So the style sheet has been added. Uh, that should be fine. Um, I'll reserve uh, your comments later. You guys will do your comments and uh, we'll see uh, what goes on. So uh, that was step number 10 and step we need just to save the web page so just go ahead and save okay so guys i'm gonna have to pause this video here and uh, i'll continue in the next video to look at um, the style sheet now uh, step number 11 and then we can go all the way maybe to the last step and find out how far we can go but for now i think i'll end here in this video and i'll see you in the next video in a short while when we look at step number 11 okay